Hello, third grade music students. This is an exciting time of the year. You get to choose which instrument you would like to play next year in fourth grade for band or orchestra. So I know that our band and orchestra teachers have sent you home some information, some paperwork to fill out and some resources, some videos to watch. I also wanted to share something with you that I think will be helpful as you're making this big decision. So today I'm going to show you this website that the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra has put together for students just like you who are in third grade and going into fourth grade getting ready to choose an instrument for the following school year. It's going to give you a chance to look around and hear all of the different instruments and hear from some musicians about how they chose their instrument when they were younger like you. So I will link this web uh, the web page in the comments or the description of my YouTube video. I will also have it posted on my Facebook page and in our um, music website for music class. All right, but here we are. And I wanna share the introduction with you because um, Jaman, our assistant conductor of the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra is a great host. And he has a few things to share with you that will set you up for this experience of looking around at the instruments of the Buffalo Philharmonic. So let's take a look here. Hello. Hello and welcome to Play on Western New York with the BPO. I am your host, Javon Dunn, Assistant Conductor Community Engagement with the Buffalo Philharmonic Orchestra. In the following videos, you will find examples of instruments that you would find in your school band and school orchestra. Each BPO musician will first play a tune called Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Symphony No. 9. Then they will explain what led them to pick the instrument that they now play and explain many wonderful things that they find about their instrument. And finally, each video will end with them playing one of their favorite melodies. Thank you so much for joining us and best wishes on your personal musical journey. Be sure to check for the hashtag PlayOnWNY for more cool videos and instruments. All right, so you may recognize Jaman Dunn or maybe some of the um, orchestra uh, members that you're going to see in the videos for the different families from the concert that we went to on our field trip. So I'm hoping you see some familiar faces. All right, so after that intro, we wanna look around a little bit. If we scroll down, we're going to see the four families of instruments, the string family, the percussion family, the brass family, and the woodwind family. And all of these families um, have several instruments in them. So if we click on one of them, we're going to be taken to another page and you will see individual video clips for each of the instruments in that family. All right, here we go. Violin, viola, double bass, and cello. So this is a great resource because each of the instruments is going to play the same exact melody. So you can compare the sounds of the two instruments playing the same song. So let's just say you really like the sound of the violin, but you're not quite sure what the difference is between the violin and the viola. Maybe you'd like the viola. So you can go over here, click on viola. We're gonna open up that little video clip and take a listen. And the tune that they're playing is probably familiar. And now, this is John Scostello playing viola of the string family. The viola is an alto sounding instrument. <laughs> Castello 
Philharmonic Orchestra. I started playing music in about second grade in elementary school and public school. And at the time, I actually started on violin. So let me just show you. This is a viola. And this is a violin. So the violin's a little bit smaller. And that's what I started on. And I played that for many years uh, until I decided to switch to the viola. And uh, why did I switch to the viola? Well. Being a larger instrument than the violin, it has a warmer sound, I think, and uh, I just really like the that, especially the low string. All right, so he will go out and give you a little bit more information about the viola, but how great is it to see those instruments side by side? And we can go back. Let's see if I can just get you back to the violin and you can hear the same tune. And I think you'll notice that not only is the violin smaller, it plays a little higher than the viola. So let's take a listen. So these videos should really help you compare the instruments and get a feel for what they sound like and what they look like. Here is Amy Clinton playing the violin of the family. The violin is a soprano sounding All right, so hopefully you noticed that the violin is playing higher pitches than the viola. And we could do this for each of the families of instruments. If we go back, we can even go into the, let's see if I gotta go back one slide more, one page more. We can go into the percussion family, which at our school are band instruments and you can check out some of these. Also, um, the woodwinds will be band instruments at our school. And there's a, a little uh, video to introduce you to the percussion family. You'll get to hear some of the instruments that they play. So we'll just play a little bit of this. But there are even some with no pitch at all. All right, so he's going to go through and play all of the instruments that you see there for you. But that's a little fancier than the xylophones we use in our classroom, right? Pretty cool. So I'm so grateful to the Buffalo Philharmonic, the BPO, for sharing this resource with us. And I think you're really going to enjoy looking around the website, listening to all the instruments, checking out these videos, and hearing from the musicians as they tell you a little bit about how they chose their instrument and why. All right, so I can't wait to find out what you choose to play next year, and I can't wait to hear you play as you learn your instrument. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye, third graders.